Good evening and welcome to what is like a disco here at River Park. You might be able to hear the music and know the tono over us in the background. But myself, Michael Powell and Mark Stillman are here for this FA Trophy replay between Gosport Borough and Bath City. A goal is draw on Saturday means the teams have to do it all again this evening on the South Coast. And what will hopefully see a game that sees a little bit more goal mouth action than we got at Twerton on Saturday. It will be Bar City in the usual black and white stripes, black shorts and white socks to get us underway. Concord Rangers also in their home strip as Tom Smith gets this FA Trophy third qualifying round replay underway. It's an early touch for Kensdale inside the Bar City half. As the Romans keep possession inside the opening 10 seconds. It does look like Tom Smith is playing slightly narrower than he has in recent weeks, so we'll wait to see exactly how Bath City line up. Robinson, no Kennedy, 35 yards out, back to Robinson. He's going to go for range, and it's uh, dragged it wide of Ryan Clark's post, but it was a good effort there from Liam Robinson. It opened up in front of him all of a sudden. On the Gosport right, plays a 1-2 with Kennedy, back to the throwing taker, lays it forward, flood with a really nice layoff for Argent, 25 yards out, goes for goal, and Ryan Clark was scrambling it, just tipped over the crossbar. That's by far the closest we've come to a goal this evening, and Sam Argent with a lovely dip in effort. Man with a really nice ball, Tom Smith through here, 18 yards out, big chance for Smith, puts it into the back of the net, it's brilliantly taken by Tom Smith, the first time in this Thai gospel, Borough have been open at the back, and Bar City have punished them ruthlessly. What a finish that was from Tom Smith, it was a terrific through ball as well before, but Tom Smith left one-on-one -on -one and no goalkeeper is going to stop that, emphatic into the roof of the net, completely unstoppable, and Tom Smith's fine goal scoring form continues and gives City a well-earned lead. It was Adam Mann just picking it up slightly deep. It was the perfect weight on the ball. Smith didn't have to break stride, and with the defence coming back at him and the keeper coming out, lifted it into the top corner. An unerring finish from Tom Smith. That makes it four goals in his last seven games, and he is certainly a man in form for Bath City. Kensdale plays it inside to Chilvers. Two Colts to Loney's linking up. A little bit of space for Chilvers. Plays it across to Smith, the man whose goal separates these two sides. Onto Reigns now on the right. Got Barry making a run ahead of him. Then a nice little turn from Reigns, still going. Across to Mann, 20 yards out centre. He's going to go for goal. Now Flaherty pushes it wide. It's going to be picked up on the follow up. Across goal. It's turned in by Andy Watkins. Bar City have a second. All came down the right hand side. They were the most alert after O'Flaherty saved it. And it's two goals in double quick time for Bath City. And all of a sudden, this cup tie has a very different feel to it. Indeed, and uh, it was great persistence. Again, we mentioned it so often this evening. There's a ball back in, and Andy Watkins right on the goal line. Doesn't get too many goals of late, but he was never going to miss from there. And it's great for Andy Watkins to get off the mark. And City now two goals to the good. And this Gosport side are going to have to show some attacking credentials that they haven't shown in this game and a half. Reigns has it on the right-hand side for Bar City. They've played two goals to nil here at Privet Park. There's a nice ball inside to Mann on the apex 18-yard box. Mann trying to find room for a strike, which he does, goes for goal, and O'Flaherty does well to get behind it and gather it, but Bar City in full flow now and looking to put this tie beyond doubt. Woodford is going to deliver back into the box. It comes across to Williams, 18 yards out, shoots first time across Clark, and the Bar City stopper is first to push it wide, and Kensdale's there on the follow-up, the first to react. Riley Lowe now over the top for Chilvers down the left hand side. He will get there first. Now sitting midfielder. As Roberts the company does well to twist away from him. Gets to the byline. He's still going here. Can he pick someone out? Still going. Crosses blocked behind for a corner kick. It was lovely footwork from Noah Chilvers to find the space originally. Once again, it's a slightly high delivery. It's miscued though, and then Kensdale can't control it at the far post. And as a result, that is the half time whistle. We're here at Privet Park. It's Gosport Baronel, Bath City 2, Tom Smith and Andy Watkins on the score sheet for the Romans. Still nods away, Kennedy with it forward to Robinson, looks to set in Argent inside the penalty. He's going to go for a first time shot, but takes a little bit of a nick on the way through into the side netting. And it will be the first corner of the second half, which goes the way of Gosport Baronel. Do you feel they need nearly goal to 
get themselves, give themselves any chance in this tie as Robinson decides to go short to Kennedy. He's not been picked up by the Bar City backline. Crosses in, flick towards goal. Clark with the save and then Lewis on the follow-up just blazes it across goal. It's still alive with Argent. Back to Kennedy. Gets to the byline. Kristen and Turning gets past a couple of Bar City players and then it's Dan Ball who's there to clear. Given away cheap by Gosport man onto Watkins. Watkins inside the 18-yard box, across the keeper, past the far post as well. A chance for Andy Watkins to potentially kill this tie off, but it wasn't the cleanest of connections from the Bar City man. This time he delivers straight into the box. Good delivery, but nodded away by Riley Lowe. Back to the corner taker. Delivers first time from deep. Barry miscues a clearance. Comes out to Argent on the far side. It goes down rather cheaply and will get a free kick. 20 yards out. Lewis moves away, so it certainly will be Williams to take it. He's going to go for goal, and it's absolutely brilliant from Rory Williams. Beats Ryan Clark, no chance for the Bar City keeper. We said Gosport Borough needed a goal. They've got a goal, and they're back in this FA Trophy tie. It's Gosport Borough 1, Bar City 2. Well, he picked his spot absolutely perfectly. He got it over the wall, right into the bottom corner. Clark showed heroics a few moments ago. He couldn't get across in time, and now we have a trophy tie on our hands. Said, making his 65th start for Bath City this evening, Ryan Clark. This is flicked on by Mann. Watkins is in here. Watkins over the goalkeeper and over the net as well. It was a big chance that for Andy Watkins. Just got too much purchase on the lob. And his one before, which he scuffed wide, was a more difficult chance. That he really should have been doing better. Carter plays one over the top, looks to turn the Bath City defence. Barry slightly misjudges it, floods in here inside the 18-yard box. Still with flood chance for a shot. In off a post. It's an equaliser for Gosport Borough. It's a beautiful finish from Chris Flood. A much harder chance than he missed on the weekend. And having been in complete control this FA Trophy tie, Gosport Borough have pegged Bath City back. It's 2-2 at Privet Park. Yeah, another great finish from Gosport and... One chance of Andy Watkins to show the difference of finishing at either end. Flood kept his feet well, Bowery had gone to grind, kept his balance, kept his composure, and it was a fine finish. Ryan Clark had no chance. Swings it in, this one's more towards the far post. It's an absolute melee and a scramble of players, and man has to hook it away up towards the halfway line where Watkins gets the first, but it's picked off him by Carter, and then he's dragged down by the Bath City striker. And that will be the first booking of the afternoon as Andy Watkins goes into the referee's notebook. As Reigns now has it for Bar City. They look to come the other way for rear time in the second half. Plays it back to Arter. So he though gives it away really cheaply to Carter. Steps inside Barry and he's got Williams in acres of space on the Gosport left. He does find him. Looks to drift across to the far post. Robinson arriving! And it's, no, it's not going to. It's off the post. Bounced off Kensdale. How Robinson has missed, I've got no idea. It somehow stayed out. And Gosport Borough really should have taken the lead. Wow, well, always left gasping here. That looked destined for the corner. And Robinson, who peeled away, got in a bit of space. He met it neatly on the volley. And in truth, from around eight yards, he should have finished it. Robinson will take the corner kick once again, delivers. It's another good delivery. Arriving is Lewis, and he heads it over the crossbar. Ball eventually ricochets back to Artis, 10 yards inside the gospel half. Forward looking for Mann, he's quickly closed down. Woodford picks off him, strides forward. And once again, Williams is in absolutely acres of space on the gospel left, driving forward. Looks across it, looking for Flood, who gets on the end of it. Can't finish it, goes wide. Jerry Gill gesticulating at his back line because they're at sixes and sevens at the moment. And Gosport Rora are going to rue not putting this one or getting in front of this one if this carries on. Oh, in fact, on that one, I think the offside flag had gone out as the ball came in. But yeah, leaving far too much space. And they're, they're going to try and address the situation now by bringing on Ryan Brunt, the first substitution for the Romans. Yeah. Unsurprisingly, Jerry Gill looking to his bench. It's Ryan Brunt who's coming on. Adam Mann is going to make way. In fact, it's going to be a double substitution because Ross Stern is also coming on for Andy Watkins. It's a double change up front for Bar City. And you have to say that's not much of a surprise because they've not really been an attacking threat for most of the second half. Rilo picks it up off Argent and looks to drive forward. He's got Stern and Brunt, the fresh legs ahead of him. Plays it into Stern, who's unceremoniously hacked down by Chris Flood, and that is going to be the second yellow card of the evening. It's a deserved yellow card from Chris Flood. Kensdale then does float one over top looking for Stoon. Woodford is there. It's a 
Poor clearance though, in as far as Chilvers, 35 yards out, striding forward Chilvers, might go for a shot, tries to dribble through, and then ball the breaks to Smith, deflected, could go anywhere off Kennedy, instead goes behind for a corner kick. Riley Lowe and Chilvers are the two over this free kick for the Romans. It's Riley Lowe to deliver, it's good delivery, finds Brunt in it, goes behind off Brunt, didn't get clean connection, will be a goal kick, no trouble for O'Flaherty. Definitely still time for a winner. I see Trail 2-0 on that one as well. So. Cart has it on the halfway line. Forward to Flood, it's a beautiful ball over top. Barker looks like he's in, he's inside the area. Barker is this chance inside Barry, and he finds the side netting. A few cheers behind the goal, they thought he was in. They had a better view from us as well. There was neat footwork from the substitute, tied Barry up in knots, but couldn't quite find the angle. I think Clark had it covered. But... Giving it away really poorly when there was space for players as Stewart is pulled back by Theo Lewis in the centre of the pitch, and this will be the third yellow card of the evening. Yeah, again, no arguments about that one. Clear tug back of the shirt, took one for the team there, did Theo Lewis. Dan Ball touched it down to Artis. Now onto Chilvers on the halfway line. Hacked down by Lewis. And having just received a yellow card, probably needs to be a little bit more careful than that. Wow. Well, certainly, no arguments for another one there. Perhaps he pulled out just about in time, but it was rather cynical from Theo Lewis, although just about on the halfway line. So no danger, but. Yeah, caution a few moments ago. That could have uh, really ruined Gosport's evening. Chilvers with the free kick from deep. He falls to Brunt inside the area. Brunt is being pulled back. Surely he is. It's a penalty to Bar City. He brought it down so well on his chest. Sam Roberts is saying his shorts are being pulled, but it was very, very clumsy from the defender. And from our angle, I don't think he can have any complaints. Well, I guess that's the only complaint they can have. Perhaps he thinks he was fouled beforehand because he clearly all over Ryan Brunt as he tried to shoot, tried to get away. And as we cross towards the 90th minute, what a huge spot kick this is for Bath City. Discussions going on here. Is the, re the referee is given a penalty. He was just ticking to the keeper there. I thought he changed his mind for a second. I'm wondering whether somebody was trying to scuff up the spot or something like that. There was a few people around there, and Ryan Brunt is clearly unhappy with what was going on. And the referee was close enough to watch that sort of thing. And will be Ryan Brunt to take the penalty, having won it. Ten seconds of the 90 remaining. It's an absolutely massive moment in this cup tie. Brunt against O'Flaherty. Will be the Barcy striker to step up. And it's saved by the keeper. Huge cheers you can hear around us. It was a poor, poor penalty in truth. It's a free kick as in frustration. Brunt follows Roberts in the follow-up. It's a good save for me, Flaherty. It was a poor penalty, though, from Ryan Brunt. Someone shouted justice next to us, but I personally thought it was apparently. Seemed inevitable, didn't it? Actually, the last time we were here, I remember Sean Mikulski had a penalty saved at the same end, and it's happened again. We're heading into a stoppage time. Along with Brunt, the main target. Chilvers, it's low, it flicks off the back of someone. Carter hooks it clear. The referee has a first look at his watch, but we still play on as Artis with another heavy touch. And then down the line puts that a play. And that is the full-time whistle. We will be going to extra time here at Pruitt Park. It's finished. Gosport Borough 2, Bath City 2, Tom Smith and Andy Watkins with two goals in three minutes in the first half. Gave the Romans a 2-0 half-time lead, but they were pegged back two goals. Also in quick succession for the host. First, Rory Williams with a beautiful bent free kick. And then Chris Fudd getting his side back on level terms. Yeah, so we are underway in extra time. Bath City, two all here against Gossip Borough Park. They're starting the extra on the front foot. It's Stern, it's narrowly wide to the post. It was a lightning start to extra time for the Romans. Good link at play from the front line, and that's the closest they've probably come to scoring. Penalty aside, since the first half. Whatever Jerry Gill said to them in that five minute interlude, he got an immediate reaction of sorts. Well, 15 seconds in, you couldn't have asked much quicker. As Lewis plays it forward, it's flicked over now, and Flood now with a chance at the other end, Flood in on goal, it's a tame finish in truth, straight at Ryan Clark, but two very, very good chances in the opening 60 seconds of extra time, and if it carries on like this, he could be in for a fairly exciting half an hour. Carter plays a reverse ball, Barker will chase after it, it's bobbling on the surface, will he keep it in? He does it just really well, Barker lays it back now to Williams in a bit of space, drifts across into the far side, and it's half cleared and then falls to Flood twisting and turning and it goes down, there's absolutely nothing in that at all, despite some of the appeals around us probing as they look to wrestle back control of this game, one which they were in complete control of for being pegged back. As Chilmers now driving inside, looks to skip inside, Carter is brought down rather unseriously and 
Carter will be the fourth man to the book this evening. Yeah, yet again, no complaints about that one, really. It's all right, 30 yards out, right of centre. Only 35, actually. It will be across to the far post. G delivers in, looking for Hartridge with a header. It's off the crossbar. So close, rains on the follow-up. That one's comfortably into the arms of O'Flaherty. But another big opportunity in extra time. This one to Alex Hartridge, and the woodwork comes to Gosport's Borough's rescue. Into Smith, and as we said, is playing deeper this evening. Now back to Hartridge, who hit the woodwork just a few moments ago. Smith driving forward, gets the better of a couple of Gosport men. He's going to go for a long range strike, but that's comfortable for Fatsy. Straight down the throat of the Gosport keeper. Still thinks about it going. He's got a couple of men over, managed to pick out Reigns. Now onto Brunt, 25 yards out, back to goal. Now he's it back to Chilvers. Chilvers going to go for goal. It's a good strike from Chilvers. It was narrowly wide. It's a great effort from the Loney. O'Flaherty was scrambling to his left hand side and it ricocheted off the stanchion behind the goal. Reigns has it inside his own half. Plays a ball forward for Chilvers and controls it well and then looks to skip away from Huggins. Defender does well, but Chilvers retains possession. 25 yards out, driving across goal. He's still going, Chilvers. Find room for a shot, but blazes it over the bar away to our left hand side. And having done well originally, and Ross in quite a bit of space on the left hand side. Looks to take on Robinson. Cuts back right foot, crosses in. It's gone behind a couple of players. It's going to come to Brunt. Brunt on the turn, blocked. Still alive in the area. It's hacked away by Woodford. Pass out to Stern, left hand side. Looks to cut inside Ross, which he does. Goes for a really ambitious strike, though. Ross Stern from wide left and is closer to the corner flag than the goal. Long diagonal out to the right hand side. It's Hartridge coming in on it and he completely miscues it. He looked like he was in for a second, Hartridge, and went to slide the ball. He just sliced it up at himself. Chill was now on the halfway line. Skips past Kendi Easy. Barcid have got five forward. Looks to lay it onto Richards. This could be a chance. And to Brunt, 18 yards out. Cuts onto his left hand side. Bends it into the bottom corner. Ryan Brunt, who missed a penalty in the normal 90, puts Bar City back in front. It might just be redemption for the big striker. Gosport Borough 2, Bath City 3. The Romans, eight minutes from the first round of the FA Trophy. It's no less than what they deserve in this second half of extra time. Bath City have been completely on top. And I initially thought that Richards perhaps could have gone for goal himself. You find Brunt who expertly bent it around the goalkeeper. And as you say, atones for his penalty miss at the same end, at the end of full time. And as things stand, City are going through into the first round from that expert finish from Ryan Brunt. Courtesy of O'Flaherty. Theo Lewis wins the flick on to Flood. On the right-hand side, crosses in. It's a great cross oh. between defence and goalkeeper. Roberts swings the ball in. Clark comes all the way up to the edge of the 18-yard box. Punches only as far as Patterson and Clark on the edge of the 18-yard box. Does really well. Originally, it was a bit of an error from the keeper, but he atoned. Now Roberts plays it forward. It's uh, into the feet of Flood. He's forced wide by Hartridge. But does manage to dig in across as kills a handball and then somebody goes down, it's still alive. Kennedy blasts it against Chilvers. Yeah, it's certainly been an enthralling replay. We were joking earlier about the one star match rating. I gave the, the original tie on Saturday's non league paper. This has been anything but, and there's still life in it yet as Barker lays it out to Kennedy on the right hand side. Looks to skip inside Hartridge. Ball does defect off the Bath City man. It will be a corner kick to Gosport Borough. I know Flat has got the nod to go forward. Rory Williams, who's also shown how, already shown how deadly can be from a set piece, will take it. Swings it in. It's not the best. It deflects. It's going to come to Robinson. He turns it back into the fight. It's a good ball. And Patson with the header nods it over. It was a difficult chance for Patson, but. He was in a little bit of space, and Tom Richards, who's one of the smallest Barcity men, is getting the applaudits of his teammate because he did enough to put Patterson off. All eyes on the referee. We're still going there. Was Kennedy wins the flick on, pulls to Patterson. Cartridge is there, and that is the full-time whistle. It's finished here at Privet Park. Gosport Borough two, Bath City three. An absolutely incredible replay in the FA Trophy. The Romans look like they were in complete control when Tom Smith and Andy Watkins gave them a 2-0 half-time lead. But the tie was turned on its head in the second half. Rory Williams' brilliant free kick gave the hosts hope before just six minutes later, Chris Flood levelled things up. Liam Robinson 
then hit the woodwork when it looked easier to score before Ryan Brunt saw a 90th minute penalty saved. On to extra time he went. Alex Hartridge, the next man to go close, he hit the crossbar before finally, seven minutes from time, Brunt made up for his penalty miss, cleared in a beautiful effort into the bottom corner to give Bath City to win the win, take them into the FA Trophy first round. Their opponent still to be determined, but Mark Stillman, after 90 minutes, which you will be lucky to miss on Saturday with not a lot happened, that was 120 minutes of pure drama. Well, there was certainly enough action in that one game to spread across the two. It was something else. I've been an absolute privilege to witness it here at Privet Park, where City had such a miserable record going into it. They'd lost their previous five, but this evening they overcame adversity having uh, thrown away a two-goal lead initially, and it had to be Ryan Brunt, didn't it? City came back, they're through. I think on what happened in extra time in particular, they deserve it. As Mark has been alluding to, it has been a privilege to be here and commentate from Privet Park this evening. Bar City are in the FA Trophy first round. They will have a home tie on Saturday the 14th of December. In the meantime, they have two more home games before that, starting on Saturday with the trip to Twerton Park of Dartford. If you can make it down to the ground, then please do. After their exploits tonight, the players will, I'm sure, certainly need all the support they can get to help them get through that one. But until then, enjoy the rest of your week, and we'll see you back very soon. <laughs>